Dixie McNeil. Yeah. Perrin forward for Kidd. In the middle is Morgan and Best. Hook could lose it, it's Best! Georgie Best! Well, what a comeback! What a way to come back into big time football. Georgie Best, 1 0. Good jump then by Dave Sadler. Perrin through for Best. Here he goes again. Georgie Best. What a beautiful bit of running by this man. Is Perrin being chased by Kiernan. Waiting for Morgan to move. There's Willie Morgan. There's Kidd. A oh, great save by Book. A wonderful try by Kidd and a great save. As behind that goal mouth, the police are in there. Georgie Best now tantalizing them again. Can he get in a shot? A chance here for Sartori as Book fell on that ball. At the moment, this is certainly a game that is going to be remembered as, uh, well, almost a best birthday. Fair brother. Charlton feeding Kidd. Best free in the middle. Willie Morgan coming over to help Kidd now. And a chance for Best. Here's the hat trick. There it is eventually. Well, 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 Georgie Best makes it a hat-trick, but that third one is the easiest he'll ever score. This is Brooks. Large getting a touch, and Sadler whacking it away. Kid breaking out. Remember how he broke out like this against Manchester City? Best going through the middle. There's Best! It's fair, brother. Not a bad ball for Ross. Eric Ross, chap that started with Glen Torren in Ireland and then went to Newcastle. Rankmore. Did well to get the cross across. McNeil. Edwards hacks him down and the penalty spot has been pointed to, I think. Mr. Baldwin moving across very slowly. Penalty it is. Nevertheless, uh, a foul in the box. Must be a penalty. So the chance to drag the scoreline back to 3-1. Frank Rankmore. Already a couple of penalties. And he's missed it. It's McNeil and he's missed it too. Fairbrother was in with the second shot then. It just isn't Northampton's day. Brian Kidd brought down as Clark ran into him. And again, Kidd hurt in the back, an injury that he got in the first half of the game. Well, how about that then? Forward, Kidd on his left, Morgan in the middle with Best, and on the far side is Craron. Brian Kidd. Saver then was Brooks. Kidd again. His Best. Number four, Georgie Best, just the tiniest touch. Willie Morgan under this. Brian Kidd. Sartori running beautifully. In the middle, Charlton. And Book got a touch to that. It's a corner. What a beautiful ball from number eight there, Carlo Sartori. Rolling it right in the path of his skipper, Bobby Charlton. And the old left foot whacking it goalwards. Bobby Charlton, who hasn't had a great deal of luck in the goal-scoring stakes this season. Only eight goals in all. There he is. Touch for Kidd. Brian Kidd. And that's the way goal-scoring is made to look easy. Willie Morgan. Running a yard too far. Fairfax takes him out. That's a good ball for Felton. 
Now the cross into the goal mouth should find large and well, 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 large and fair brother were in the goal mouth, but they weren't sitting in the crowd, which is where that ball went. And we've got a substitution. Bobby Charlton has come off the field. And on is Francis Burns. There he is, number 12. Francis Burns, who was replaced in the side today by Tony Dunn. He's been playing left back for the side. In and forward for Dixie McNeil. Dave Sadler, sure as a rock. There's the substitute, Burns. Right in action right away. Best going through the middle. He's on for five. There it is. Oh, Georgie Best. Paddy Crowe with this throw in then. Kid. And Fairfax coming out for Northampton. Felton running right side. Fairfax going forward for a return pass, but Felton getting into some difficulty. It's Ross now. And Ian Ewer, solid as a rock. What a difference this man has made to the Manchester United back line since they bought him from Arsenal. And what a difference this man makes to any front line. There's George Best. Two burns. Has Kidd forward on the far side of two unmarked men. One of them is Willie Morgan who should get another goal here. No, Kidd does. Well, you've got to feel sorry for Book then. He made the first save, dropped the ball, and Kidd whacks it in. That's number seven. Joe Kiernan for Brooks. And a tackle, a sliding tackle then by Edwards on Brooks. The free kick to Northampton. Edwards getting away to Morgan. Brooks in strongly. Now Ross. Ross a chance. He's trying to feed his forwards instead of shooting. Number four running is Clark. That's a good ball. There's Large. And now Dixie McNeil. It's there. Dixie McNeil gets one back. Well, there he is, the hero of Northampton, who makes it 7-1 now. Fairfax in trouble with that pass. Willie Morgan, kid on his left. Burns coming through forward of him, and Best out on the right. Here's Best. Oh, and a great stay. Tremendous shot and a great save from Book. Very nearly the record that time. Here's McNeil. Large is onside. Being chased by Sadler. Could be in for one here. Right across the goal mouth. Well, when nothing goes right for you, absolutely nothing goes right for you. Kid. Kid. Winning this ball. Faced by Rankmore, who has a chance to intercept. Kid not able to move as fast as he was earlier. Kid, who's twice been down with an injury. Here's Crerand. Best. Here's the record. There it is. Georgie Best sets a new scoring record for Manchester United. Six goals in a game. Rankmore getting it forward as Kiernan moves in on four, five defenders, United defenders. Fairbrother, cross ball, Large going in, and he's got it. Frank Large. Ross to feed Felton, I would suspect. No, a cheeky one down the line for Fairbrother. 
And another corner. No. Foul against Fairbrother for holding back Sadler. And George Best has already taken up his position on the very far side of the field there. And he's first away down the tunnel, too. He wasn't going to wait. Already down there behind those policemen, George Best, the hero of this game, has gone. George Best, six goals. Brian Kidd, two. Large and McNeil getting the two goals for Northampton as the crowd piles onto the pitch. Well, they paid uh, high prices for this game today, and they've certainly had value for money. Ten goals. Well, you couldn't have better than that.